online and on your smart speaker. Townsville's national award-winning builder, Kia Constructions. Hit News Briefing. Hi, it's Dan Flake here with your news briefing. The PM's confirmed some great news regarding international travel. The National Security Committee has, cabinet has decided today that Australia will reopen our borders, borders to all uh, remaining visa holders on the 21st of February of this year. Scott Morrison there. It follows close to two years of closures, while travellers will need to be double jabbed to come here. Meantime, Barnaby Joyce will have a few questions to answer when the Nationals' party room meeting plays out this afternoon. The Deputy PM's been forced to apologise after text surfaced where he labelled the Prime Minister a hypocrite and a liar. Taking a look at the COVID situation across the country, there's been close to 50 deaths related to the virus confirmed across the country today. 19 of those are in the Sunshine State. Sadly, Queensland Premier Anastasia Palisay says a majority of those were in nursing homes. These are um, family members of um, people across Queensland. Um, I can report that 10 of those were in aged care but only one person um, had their booster. Meantime, the state's also announced plans to wind up its check-in app across a bunch of locations. However, businesses like hotels and clubs will need to continue to keep using the app to check vaccinations. Well, just under 4,000 people are battling the virus in hospital nationwide. Meantime, some good news for those in three states waiting to go under the knife. Non-urgent elective surgeries are recommencing in New South Wales, Victoria and in South Australia. And firefighters in WA continue to try and get on top of several bushfires burning in the state south which have threatened homes. Introducing the Staria Load, Hyundai's new commercial van that fits in everything. And now it even comes loaded with a $1,000 bonus for Arabian holders. Test drive today. The Indigenous squads called up Shaq Mitchell for the injured Jack Bird. He's been training with Souths alongside younger brother Latrell over summer but he's yet to play an NRL game. And the Aussie women's cricket side still has a final one day or against England tomorrow before departing for the World Cup in New Zealand later this week. Having already secured the ashes, skipper Meg Lanning says that there is still room for improvement. We probably haven't played our best cricket throughout the series. I think we've had some really good patches and we've won the big moments that we've needed to, but we probably haven't put together that full game, so I think Jim Sandler has an opportunity to do that. shower and 31 degrees in Townsville for the rest of today, down to 23 tonight. Tomorrow mostly sunny and 31 degrees. Our listener app is the home of radio, podcasts, music and news. Join up to listen live or on demand now. <laughs>